Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So I just got in the cutest PR box. I did purchase this so it is not um, free or anything like that but it is just the cutest thing. This is the Wet n Wild Scooby Doo collection. This is the PR box that you can purchase on their website and on Amazon. Look at how freaking adorable this is. It's the mystery machine and every single piece that you get with the collection comes in here. So this is what it looks like. I had to share with you guys so it does come with the makeup bag the makeup bag will retail on its own for $16.99 if you are interested in that there is going to be the three-piece uv glow face and body crayon set that is going to retail for $12.99 and I do have some swatches for you guys. Unfortunately, I do not have a UV light so I cannot show you guys, you know, the, what it looks like under the UV light. But then it does come with these two little panels here and this is the rest of the collection. Just to go over it for you guys, there is a really cute little mirror. I am going to keep it in its casing um, because I might pass that along. There is going to be the lip crayon. There is only one in the PR box but I believe there is two lip crayons in the collection um, they do retail for $7.99 a piece the shade that comes in the PR box is going to be the shade pup cakes so I have some thoughts on that I am wearing it there is the three piece brush set it does glow in the dark which I think is really really cool if you're interested in the brush set it's going to retail for $12.99 there is a lip mask if you'd like to purchase that separately that is going to retail for $7.99 there is one cream blush in the PR box but there is two in the collection so I don't have the second one the blush is going to retail for $7.99 this is a cream blush. Um, the shade that comes in the PR box is going to be the purple one. That one is called Talk to talk to the paw and I am wearing it on my cheeks. I have to say it has a very interesting component which we will get into. It is that type of push applicator. I think that's the first time they've ever done that um, and I do have some thoughts on the blush towards the end of the collection. There is a giant UV glow in the dark sponge. Again I am not going to unpackage that and I did not use that in this tutorial because I just have so many sponges I don't need to pull that one out just yet. If you want to purchase a sponge separately, it is $7.99. And then last but not least, I think the part everybody usually wants to see is going to be the eyeshadow palette. So I do have it in front of me here. It is going to retail for $12.99. There are going to be 16 shades in this palette. I tried to do a fun look with this palette, so try to use as many shadows as I could. I am wearing it on my eyes. This is the look that we're going to be doing with the palette and the whole collection. So if you are interested in this eye look that I am wearing using the Scooby-Doo X Wet n Wild palette and you want to know my thoughts on this entire collection towards the end of the video, then just keep on watching. So with eyes prepped and primed, I'm going to dip into the shade Scoob and I'm going to place that on my outer corner. Now this shade is marked as not eye safe because it does have potential to stain the eyes. So please be mindful of that if you are going to use the shade on your eyes. Um, technically you're not supposed to, but... I do it anyways. So I'm going to place it on the outer corner and then I'm going to use a clean fluffy brush to blend out the edges for the next shade. Honestly, this look is okay, but I feel like it just doesn't scream what this collection was trying to give. Um, all of these like warm like red tones, I don't know, for the mattes was just a little boring. They should have done something a lot more cooler. I don't know. I'm just not that impressed with the color story to be honest with you. I could kind of see the characters a little bit but not really when there's so many like nude shades in there but <clears throat> regardless I tried to do the best that I could and then I went into the shade Possum and placed that on top of Scoob. Now again Possum is marked as not eye safe because it is considered a pressed pigment and this shade could also stain the eyes but again I am using these. Now I didn't have any staining on the eyes but I also didn't wear this look for very long. I usually feel like you'll have 
maximum staining if it's a hot pink shade or if you've had the eyeshadow on for a really long time is what I've noticed at least. Um, don't quote me on that. All right. I don't want to get in trouble. Then I'll go back into Scoob and just build that shade back up, blend the two together. Next, I'm going to dip into the shade Boo, which is a yellow, and I'm going to start dusting that on the outer corners and pulling that shade out. Then I will go back into the orange and that, I wouldn't really call it a red, it was more like a, ooh, like a burgundy, not burgundy, bright red. I don't know. We'll just call it red. All right. We'll keep it simple and call it red. We'll go back into the red shade and just build up all of these colors and just start pulling it outward because I wanted to do a winged out shape. So just to give you guys a life update because it's been a while since I've done that. I am 29 weeks pregnant and um, oh my god. If you hear me huffle puffing in every voiceover from now on, just know that I am on struggle street now because he is pressing on the lungs. Um, so for the shimmer shade, I did go into the shade fashionable, which is a purple shimmer. And I actually placed that on top of that red shade um, and then just padded whatever was left up and into the other matte shades so it blended out really nicely. I just thought that this would add a little touch of something. It is very pigmented, it is very reflective right off the bat. You don't have to wet your brush. I was really impressed because usually the shimmers do not, um, the shimmers in like the collab palettes don't really look that good, but these were these worked really, really nicely, like really reflective. And then for the rest of the eyelid, I did go into the shade Spooky and just patted whatever was left up into my eyebrow area and just blended the two together. For the bottom lash line, I did take the shade Fashionable and that's just what I have on the bottom lash line. I did forget to mention Fashionable is marked as not eye safe. So again, please be careful of that. But yes, um, well, I did go into the blush next. I didn't think it was gonna be a stamp, so I thought it was really, really cute. You can't really see the paw print with this one though, but whatever, I think it's a cute concept. It does blend really, really nicely. It doesn't separate the foundation. It's pigmented. It is kind of a dewy finish and it is very buildable. So I ended up really liking the blushes, but I wanted to show you guys how they blend out. Look how easy and simple that is. After that, we just threw on some lashes and one of the lip crayons and we have the full look. All right, guys, so that is the tutorial using the Scooby-Doo X Wet n Wild palette and blushes and lip product. So I want to go over my thoughts on this collection. So as far as all these accessories go, I mean, that is just whether or not you want them or you need them. Um, I think it's pretty cute for this collection and I like that it glows in the dark. I think that's a fun little thing if you want something different. As far as makeup brushes go, so that is just up to you. This lip mask, honestly, I know Glamlight did a collection with Scooby-Doo as well and they came out with a lip scrub and a lip mask. I like this lip mask way better than Glam Lights. I have to be completely honest. The Glam Light one smells horrible and I just can't get over it. This one is not my favorite, but it does smell better than that Glam Light one. To me, it's kind of like a perfumey uh, green apple type uh, scent. So I will be using this one, but it's just, I like that one better than the Glam Light. That is going to be a preference on which one you like the best. This cream blush, I actually really, really like. It blended out really nicely. This color is really nice. It is very subtle, but you can build it up. Applicator is a fun little thing for Wet n Wild with the little paw print and the push um, application. There is a peachier one, which I would like to pick up since I do like the formula of these. They blend it out really nicely. It has not separated any of my foundation or my powder. So I would recommend getting these. I think they're really cute. The only downside, you do fully have to close it in order to get a good amount of product on that sponge and then you gotta unscrew it to use it. So that's kind of the downside to this little component here, but I think it's cute and I think it's different. So I do like the blushes. The lip crayon, I... I am not really a fan of these. If I'm going to do something bold and dark like this, I do like a full opaque matte lipstick or liquid lipstick. Um, these just kind of always seem very like 
slippy slidey so the lip products i'd probably pass on but they are very very comfortable so these uv sticks i'd honestly probably pass on as well i didn't use them in the tutorial but just by swatching them they are kind of chunky they don't glide as smooth um, and then the colors are super duper light in person if you're gonna buy like a chunky stick i would go for like the nyx chunky jumbo sticks they glide better they blend better so i would probably pass on these little things here the eyeshadow palette which is the big thing here um honestly i do think the formula of this is way better than all of the other collaborations they have done um usually they're not that consistent when it comes to collaboration formulas it's not my favorite they don't really blend out as nicely but this one did a pretty decent job the mattes feel buttery smooth in this they're pigmented they blend it out really nicely i am not a fan of this color story i wish there were a few more mattes in this palette versus shimmers there's like a shit ton of shimmers in here and i am more of like a matte eyeshadow girly so i do wish there was more mattes but the ones in here did work really really well shimmers were really blinding as well nicely reflective like i like them blended out nicely and they're pigmented so the shimmers were really nice i just personally am not a fan of the color story but i do however think if you were going to get a scooby-doo collaboration eyeshadow palette again i would go with glam light glam light does an amazing job on their packaging and on their form I have the other collections, the like Daphne and Velma one, and then the one with the full gang, and it's just an amazing formula. So I would rather spend my money on that than on this palette here. But if you are like a Scooby Doo collector, or maybe you just like this color story a little bit better than Glam Lights, then by all means go ahead and grab this now it is available on amazon and it is available in walmart i have not seen it in my local walmart i purchased this entire pr kit on amazon so just to give you guys a heads up on that uh, be on the lookout if you wanted to pick up any of these pieces for what it's worth it was a really cute collection very fun to play around with but that's gonna be my video for today guys if you really liked it leave a like on this video if you disliked this video leave a dislike it helps my channel out don't forget to comment down below whether or not you guys are going to pick up this collection or if you have it on the way or if you preferred glam lights over wet and wilds let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see the next time that i upload until next time i will see you in the next one